everybody likes social networking these days. And OpenERP likes it too. Moreover, OpenERP thinks that effective internal communication between colleagues is a crucial part of modern organization. And this is why with the seventh version, OpenERP introduces social networking application, which is really handy and it's really fun to use. And it's actually, it's like a Facebook and a Twitter between your company colleagues. And in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about this application. Uh, so if you want to follow me, you should be, you should install CRM module and social networking. And in, if you install the CRM, social networking module gets installed automatically. Uh, also, I have here uh, three users, but I'm going to use only Simonas and Polus here. And you should watch my previous video on the users and to, to just to understand why I'm not using administrative user. And you should never use administrative user for any communicational or that main management uh, tasks. So once you got the social networking application, you have this uh, top level menu item messaging here. And social networking in terms, in terms of OpenERP actually means that you can follow things uh, on, the, on your system. And basically you can follow a document or you can follow a group. So uh, I'm going to start demonstration by following some group. Uh, so uh, under the messaging uh, my new item you have these links and here you have your groups and this is a groups a listed groups that you are following at the moment so um, me as a user as a Simonas, i'm following a whole company group and company news group and actually i can join some other groups which are available on the system so here, here is the company jobs group, or even I can create a new group. Let's say um, I'm going to create Simonas group. Uh, so in this group, I'm going to like uh, discuss of <laughs> about myself. And uh, here you can select the privacy of the group. So you can choose a public group. So it means that this group will be visible for everybody and even for, for your portal users, for your customers. And also you can uh, select auto subscription here. So you can select a different user groups. Actually, these are the users uh, who has a specific access rights on specific applications. So you can select those users and uh, those access rights and every user who has the, the specific access rights will, will be automatically joined to your group. You can select this group to be private. So only uh, the users who will be invited from here uh, will, will join the group and nobody will be able to see uh, the group and join the group just by himself and also you have select group only and here you can uh, select uh, a uh, actually a user uh, group users group who has some specific access rights to be able to see the group and actually join the group and in the same way you can also uh, auto subscribe some some people uh, so for my group, I'm going to leave this default settings. Uh, I'm going to leave this selected group only, and I'm going to let uh, all the users who are employees of my company to see my group and join the group. I'm going to hit save. And what you see now that this group have got a group alias email. And if I click edit again, I can edit this, uh, this, this group alias, uh, alias email address. So I'm going to edit this like this, Simonas group. And what this email uh, means is that if you configure um, this email address, simonas group at dailyrp.net, under your settings uh, incoming email server, all the messages coming uh, 
to to the to this email address will get ported to to this group. So uh, you can let uh, the outside uh, world to post on this group. And also, if you if you will uh, will uh, join somebody from the outside world only with the, his email address. Uh, he will receive all the messages from the group uh, as from this alias. I'm going to hit save now again. And uh, yes, if I go back to the Kanban view, I see now that I am a follower of Simona's group. If I hit refresh, you see that I have a Simona's group at the moment. So let's switch to the other account now. And here I have Polo's account. Uh, and I am under the messaging and join group. And here I see that I can join Simona's group. And I'm going to join this group. Hit refresh. Now I have Simona's group on my groups. And I can send the message. So let's send the message. Hello, Simona's. Group. In and if I switch back to Simonas view, hit refresh. I have a new message in Simonas group, and his poll is writing. Hello, Simonas. It's a great group. Uh, great. So uh, here, this is a groups. Mm. The other thing that I mentioned earlier, you can follow on OpenERP are doc are a document. So actually the same way you are following a group, you can follow a document. The actually the only one difference uh, here is that is only that uh, uh, all these things, all those messages which are appearing under this link, let's say Simona's group here, uh, appears under the document so let's go to the sales module and leads and i'm going to create a lead now i'm going to call this lead tutorial lead i'm going to save here and here i have a document it's a lead here um, and uh, below the document you see pretty much the same view you have on your groups you can send a message here as like on the group uh, or you can log a note. Uh, and uh, once you create a document, if you are a author of the document, actually you are automatically becoming, uh, becoming a follower of this document. So I have created a tutorial lead and I am a follower of this document and I can click on follow to unfollow the document uh, and also I can add others to be a followers of this document um, and uh, let's switch to the polis view now let's go to sales and leads and here here you see that polis sees uh, the tutorial lead too if I click tutorial lead uh, I can as a polis now you see as a polis i can click follow this document too and i can send the message here and actually all the followers of this document will get this message and actually you can add other to join this group and you can add let's say a outside world email address here to join this group so if you are discussing here on something and you want some some other person who has who doesn't have a, a account on open erp uh, and you want him just to follow what's going on on this document you can add here his email address and the invitation message will be sent and all the messages which uh gets written here by by you or even by by that specific person will be will be sent to him so let's add a message here 
great speed. So uh, as a polis now, I have written a message uh, on this document. And I am a follower of this document as well as Simonas is a follower. And if I switch back to Simonas view, um, and if I go to my messaging module, you see that the message, great lead from Polus, came here into my inbox. And now it's the time to talk about your inbox. So your inbox actually is a central portal where all the feeds, all the messages uh, that are dedicated for you as a person and also all the messages uh, from the things that you are following comes here. Uh, and you can manage those messages directly from here or you can manage those messages from your groups. Let's say you see that you have one message in the group. Uh, or you can go to sales, uh, lead, find the lead actually, and you can manage the message here. Uh, but actually, if you are a follower of some document, uh, you will always get, uh, get the message here. And if you're a follower of, of group, you will get the message here. And uh, you can do a few things with those messages. You can mark the message uh, to to be done later, mark, mark to do. So it will go to to do link and stay there until you unmark the message or mark the message as done. You can reply to the sender or you can mark this message as done. And once you hit uh, the message as done, it just goes away. And it says that you have nothing here in your inbox. And it means that uh, from the perspective of messaging, you have nothing to do here. So you have answered all the messages or have took some actions on the messages and everything finds here. So you can continue your work on the other things. Uh, and if I hit the refresh, yeah, now uh, those tiny icons goes away. Um, and if I go back to my document that I have created, URL, it's a lead document. Uh, I can continue this con conversation here uh, by sending messages to the followers, or even I can use the social networking application just to log a, no a note. And if I just log a note, uh, no followers will get any messages in, in their inboxes, but uh, the note on this lead will be locked. And anytime anybody goes here uh, to see uh, the, 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 this document, uh, that person can see all the history of, uh, of messages here left by different users of your system. And by the way, here on the right hand side, you have few options on social networking uh, re uh, dedicated for this uh, specific document. You can follow uh, different actions made on, on the document and uh, different documents uh, most of the time has different actions to be able to follow. So you can actually on the lead you can, you can uh, mark to follow a discussions only, it means that only the discussions uh, the messages of other people will be ported to your inbox. Uh, and uh, if you mark all those, it means you can mark opportunity lost, opportunity won, stage change it, and so on. So everything which, which will be related to this document, like opportunity won, uh, once the, this opportunity will be won, let's say, uh, you will get the message to your inbox that this opportunity uh, has been won. And this is pretty much all what I wanted to talk to you on this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed this and see you in the next tutorials.